Everybody, today we're going to be converting our forklift and adding some soil panels on top to keep a trickle charge while we're just sitting around. Let's get started. On the forklift, we'll be mounting these two 70 watt solar panels. They're the all shingled XS Compact from Solar Power Store straight from our website. They're 70 watts and the two should fit perfectly on top of the forklift. To convert the power from the solar panels, we'll be using this 50 amp charge controller. It's an EP Ever 50 amp charge controller, which will be perfect for this application. First thing we need to do is measure the top of the forklift. To do that, we're going to use one of these. Okay, yeah, so we need this space to measure because we know the panels fit perfectly there. So we're going to measure this space out so we can fit the unit strats in. All right, so we have 38 and an 8. Remember that. To cut the unit strat, I'll be using a miter saw. You can also use a hand saw if you, ha if you have it, or you can use a band saw. Either way, you can always cut steel. To mount the unit strat on top of the forklift, we'll be using this zinc plated U bolts, and they're perfect because they are zinc galvanized. Uh, it's not the most ideal, but it's the best thing we can find, and that will help, help prevent the foot mistake. To mount the soul downs, we'll be installing this uh, unit strat stick on the roof. They're very pretty common with electrical work. Uh, they allow you to pretty much be very flexible because they have these holes you can use for mounting, and you can also use these pre nuns in order to mount. The soil panels directly on it without needing to puncture any holes in the Ice in my veins, I've been driving this train. Years in this. Yeah, so I gotta do is just push the piece of metal, the plate right up, and then just tighten. I'm just gonna hand tighten for now the bolts all the way up. And then we're gonna do the same thing for all four corners. And then we'll start mounting the panels. Now, because it's gonna be in a moving application, I'm gonna put some Loctite on it. And put them in all the corners. And this stuff just helps it that when uh, <laughs> when <laughs> so it, it just helps lock the screw back in place. So that way, because it's moving application and vibrations, it'll help. All right, so we've gone ahead and tightened all of the U bolts across the strut channel. You can see all four of them are nice and tight, and the Loctite is on all of them, so during vibration, it's going to be nice and good. To mount the, sol the solar to the unit strut, we'll be using these clips. These clips fit perfectly into the strut, so they'll slide right into the rail. And then they just twist and lock. And then they'll push on down on the solar panel in order to catch it when you tighten the screw. All right, so now we're gonna be putting our clips on. We have our mounting in place, we have our first solar panel, and we're gonna be putting it in. So it's pretty simple, pretty easy with them. We're going to be taking our the nut at the bottom. It slides perfectly in in the channel, and then you just tighten it like so. So again, we're going to tighten by hand until until we have everything positioned. All right, so we're going to be putting the first clip on. These guys are called these guys are called end clamps. It's because they go on the end of the panel. And it's simple like that, and you just twist. Oh, yeah, get out of the way. So they just twist and lock in place. And then the plastic piece goes under. And then we stick our Allen key and tighten it over. It's actually very similar to, well, this is exactly what solar racking is on residential roofs. This is the same systems they use. We're gonna be just leaving it loose so we can put the second panel right beside it. Uh, now that we have the two mid cons in place, it's gonna put down the second panel. Well, and we're just gonna slide it on right there. Just align it. Push it on nice and close. And then we can start tightening up the mid con, which will catch both of them in place. All right, so we have both the panels all mounted up. Uh, that's it for this video. Remember to like, subscribe, and join us for the next video to see how we put up the trash controller connecting it to the battery of the forklift. So truly, triple charge the batteries. <laughs>